Welcome to episode two. The sun is rising on episode two. Yeah, <laughs> gonna follow the camera. I love it. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get to episode two. Let's play this thing, baby. Hey. Oh, by the way, um, can we bring this up? Why are you gonna punch me at the end of the last episode? What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. <sighs> uh, this is my life. Okay, so this has been super cool doing this whole YouTube thing, and I just want to commemorate this moment to remember uh, all of y'all that have followed me here in the beginning. This is my little YouTube plaque. Uh, 10 subscribers. <laughs> uh, and we're going to say humble beginnings. And seriously, I mean, I really appreciate it. My plan is to pretty fly my little homestead here. Y'all see the garden is growing, but we still got a pretty, we have an interesting neighbor. All right, he's gone. We have a pretty yard here, uh, but it needs to be a lot prettier than this. And we have no way to get down to the village folk. Oh, there goes our neighbor. Oh, I did not mean to look at him. I was just looking over top of his head. This is not going to save me. I need water. <laughs> Hello, sir. Can you forgive me? Forgive me for my crimes. Uh, you want to come help me with this guy? I'm on the way. Oh, thank goodness. If I knew where I was going, I'm terrible with directions. It's the house on top of the hill. Ooh, he sound mad. Ooh, he left. He behind you. Nuh uh. I don't, actually, I don't know where he is. Behind you. Yeah, get him. I can't. You're so big and strong. Okay? I can't get him. Where'd he go? Right there, the trees. He in the trees. He's right behind you. Oh, he got some. Oh, he keep leaving. Come in. Oh, I think he's happy now. Oh, okay. Well, I'll leave him alone. All right. He just, he just had a moment. I kind of want to hit him, though. I'm going to hit him. I want a pearl. Where a pearl at? Oh, he gone. I think he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're gonna come say hey to Colonel's. <gasps> Colonel's had a baby. Hey, Mr. Colonel's. Apparently, you're a Mrs. Colonel's. Let's see. This is how we tell. This is how uh, chickens hatch babies in the real life. You throw an egg at the wall and hope for the best. All right. Well, maybe next time, Colonel. See ya. Colonel is a chick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Surprise! I need to create a path from my house down to the village, and I'm seeing this nice little road right here, and I think that would be the road we want to connect up to to get into the village. And it seems like obviously we would enter from this side of the house. So I was thinking we could follow the side of this uh, hill here, uh, working our way through here, uh, past these trees. So we'll continue clearing out these trees. You see, I already got a start on it. Uh, past these trees and I'll probably come down right here and then zigzag over or maybe yeah definitely so that that looks like the most natural path so we will come down right here into this and then zigzag over but before we go ahead and do that, um, I have heard that Big E found an abandoned mine shaft. So we're going to go check out that mine shaft and uh, we'll return to this project. Oh, look at your little house coming along. Got some, got some shingles on your roof. Yeah. Uh, uh, I oh, have a plan. It's beautiful. This is a really nice little beach house. I love all the windows. Of course, of course. Classic Big E. Oh, I brought something for you. Oop. Oh yeah, thank you. Put that wherever you want it. All right now, I heard that there is a, um, a mine shaft. Oh yeah, give me one second, and I will show you. You kept it. It's so beautiful. What is it? This right okay. here. Please don't tell me it's a. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. Is Be careful because I got a hole down here, and you might fall down it. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Don't do it yet. What? 
Don't you do it. It's so pretty. Oh. All right. Um, have you made a way to it? Nope. All right. Let's make a way to this thing. Give me a second. Oh, yeah. Abandon mine, chaff. And I'll right. change your ever desires. Up, buddy. Oh, no. What? It's one of those poison spiders. I know it because I... There's like a ton of... Why are you going to push me? Oh. Uh. Uh. Kill his children. Should I kill the spawner or do you want me to keep the yep, spawner? Yep, kill the spawner. We don't need that type of spawner. Done. Yeah, so oh, yeah. All the strength you can ever ask for. I know. It's beautiful. Look at this cool cave. Look at the way that, like, spires. Right there. That's cool. Hey, what is that? Nothing. Hey! Uh. Help. <laughs> oh, snap. Bitch, if you don't stop, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Watch when I get up there. You, you gotta find me first. Are you really hiding? <laughs> Yeah. I'm not trying to look for you. I'm trying to find some treasure. Dang. I don't know where else I can go. What in the world? <laughs> I don't know where else I can go for it when it comes to this uh, shaft. I know, right? The mine shafts in this new The Caves and Cliffs update are... What's up? Yeah. It's just so broken. Oh. Doesn't make any sense. All right, well, I guess that's that for the mine shaft. Oh, well. Could go down there and really risk it for the biscuit. There ain't nothing down there, though. I don't know. Except for maybe bedrock. Oh, is that deep slate? Maybe there could be some diamond down there. It's quite open. Oh, it's so massive. So terrifying. Should we brave it? Do and do what? There? There's nothing. There is nothing down there that looks. Hey, you never know. Remotely appealing. Come on, come with me. Let's do this thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm already gone. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, sorry, but I'm already gone. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Look at all. <laughs> that guy right there is gonna be the one that kills me. All right, we're gonna see if we can cause a mass explosion here. Shadow creepers. Let's see what we can make up. Huh! Goodness gracious! The skeleton just jumped through my face here. <laughs> Down here, that hole where Every we were piece like. Piece of my body just went. <laughs> part of it. Oh, yep, I see where all the mobs are. There you are. Look at you over there. <laughs> Gosh, they're all coming for you. Hey, why don't, you, why don't you come down here and help me? Um, and do what? We're gonna see how many explosions I can make happen. It's the skeleton that's bothering me. If the skeleton wasn't here, it really makes some damage happen. Oh, creeper coming up the elevator. All right, here we go. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, look at all that iron you got down there. <laughs> eat food. Eat, eat something. Eat something. Eat. Oh, wow. Just gotta use the wildlife to your advantage. Get them to kill each other. Light it up. Alright, coast is clear. Come on down, Biggie. I've been down here. Oh, hello. Been down here. Alright, well, um, I uncovered a lot of stuff. 
Oh, who hit me? Oh, this little punk. Get him, baby. Get him. Oh, sorry. Hey! Hey, baby! <laughs> uh, do you have a crafting bench? I don't. I'm sorry. Ugh, I need to go up there and get some wood. Do you have wood on you? Mm, nope. Just get some from these things up here. Yeah, so I'm about to go do. I think we did a pretty good job of clearing that out. That part. Now we got some more to light up, at least. Yeah. Can you help me light up some stuff? Uh, over here? Yes. Hold on. I'm trying to. You ain't getting the light? I do, but I'm trying to get my uh, a new pickaxe. I'm just melting down some iron real quick. Oh, smart. I have all uh, stone pickaxes right now. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm all I'll out of wood. I'm make some sticks. There we go. Now I got an iron pickaxe again. Oh, yeah. You got any stick on you? I do. There you go. What? Two pieces? Two sticks? <laughs> well, how many did you have? Ungrateful. Oh, you said you're on level nine? I didn't say that. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's I not what's over there. I'm on level four, but there's like still a thousand blocks below us. What's the new bottom? It's like, I guess it's negative something. How does this game work anymore? Oh, it's so pretty, though. Look at all that deep Oh, what was that sound? I heard something go. Mm, I don't know. That sounds not that, crazy. Is that the noise axolotls make? Oh, maybe. All right, you want to try to brave our way down there and see what we can find? I want to see if I can go to level 12 and find some diamonds. I'm going to, the way I'm going to brave my way down there is I'm going to see if I can route this water and create a little elevator for us. Uh, I'm uh, smelting some iron right now. So you want more protection? I want to wait for a little bit. All right, well I got a water elevator for us. All right, I'm going down. He's going down, guys. I feel like I'm going extremely slow. Ugh, I feel like I'm in slow motion. Crazy. Oh gosh. Hey, I found more of the abandoned mine shaft down here. Oh cool. Oh yes. I found a diamond. I got one diamond, baby. Oh, I'm the richest man on the server. That's true. That is true. would be so proud of me. Oh, I wait, mean, no. Mumbo would be so proud of me. Oh, snap. Hey, I found a treasure chest inside of one of the oh, mine carts. We found a ton of uh, I'd like the glow glowberries. Glowberries, you got it. We found a ton of spiderwebs too, sir. Yeah, dude. I'm just gonna walk in the opposite direction of those. What the heck? Oh, I'm sorry. What just happened? Uh, those dudes are outside my door. Oh, uh, the pillagers! They scared the crap out of me though, because I didn't. I heard some right behind me. I like how I came down here to help you, and you abandoned me. I went to get sticks. <laughs> I feel exactly like this mine shaft, abandoned. Oh my goodness! You couldn't wait to say that, could you? <laughs> I think like all the Minecrafters that play like you don't get diamond until you have a fortune mm. are probably cringing <laughs> watching me get the little bit of diamond I can. Mm. I play like that too if I if this I weren't so different. You're such a boss. It 
It's like only ever one diamond now. <gasps> no. What happened? I put aside three um, iron for myself, and I accidentally used it to make your shoes. I mean, your hat. Well, I'll find some more iron. It's fine. Oh, you were slain. slain. Oh, my goodness. Here's a little uh, thing on a chicken. Here we go. Oh, Look at gosh. this little demon. I need to go get my stuff, man. Where were you? I don't know. Somewhere down there in that abandoned mine shaft. Oh. Follow the torches. Follow the torches, bro. I don't know if I want to. All right, we can do this. We can get our stuff back. And then I'm going back to my nice, cozy homestead. Oh, wait. I'm headed the wrong direction. Oh, oh that was so close. <laughs> Geronimo. All right, we are back here at this mine shaft. I need to find it. I need to find it. I think I went, yep, I went this way and up here. There it is. There's the explosion of my guts. Oh, goodness. Yes, all of my sweet, sweet goodies. I don't think any of it fell in any lava. My shears. I've been reunited with my shears. How does, oh yeah, I found some beautiful, beautiful amethyst. I'll give up. What? There's no use. What happened? In mining here, everywhere is water. I know, because it's like we're surrounded by an ocean apparently. And then, there's a million mobs everywhere, and they're all out to get you. And every diamond you find is literally just one diamond. I've not found a single diamond that's more than one. Travel. Strip mining travel. <gasps> We're in. That was almost the death of me. Oh. I stayed very calm, cool, and collected during that whole situation. And I believe that uh, that, that deserves a, a pat on the back and job well done and I get to go home now. Oh wait, I forgot what I said it this way for. Never mind, we have a task at Why hand. Dude's still outside my house. I mean, Biggie. Oh, it's so pretty. Look, look, look. Oh. Nice. Oh, it's so pretty. Do you hear the way it, when it breaks? No. It like sings songs. Well, I've heard it before, but I don't hear it right now. Yeah, it's so pretty. Gorgeous. Oh, and when you walk on it, too. I broke my pickaxe, and there's still so much more amethyst to acquire. Well, we got a good start. Let's go home. Oh, we all right. Well, that was quite the adventure. Um, totally different exploring inside of abandoned mine shafts these days. Totally different exploring inside of caves. But we are back, and we have done some upgrades as well to the house. I want to go ahead and show that off to you guys. So check this out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I do have my starter base fully. Well, I won't say fully actually, but anyhow, I've got it spruced up a little bit, and we're going to give you the tour. So as you can see, we we're right here at the village. Hey, Biggie, could you click a little less over there? <laughs> Alright, I'm good. Crap. Uh, yeah, so we're right here at the beginning of the village, or the end of the village, rather, and it has a nice stairwell that leads up to our beautiful little house on top of the hill. And I'm going to give you all the tour. Um, Biggie, you watching this thing? It's beautiful, isn't it? So I got this nice path here that leads up the hill. I tried to, you know, do the variation of the different types of stone to our bridge. Do you hear that babbling creek? Mm. Babbling babble, brook. Babble, 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 babble. <laughs> that, that creek actually goes and runs into this ravine here. It took a little bit of time to dig out, but I'm so satisfied because 
It's all coming from one source block of water up there. Well, two or three, but they're, anyhow, they're all coming from that cave up there and naturally trickling down this hill all the way to the ravine, which is so satisfying. Along my walk to the house, I've got some bushes and some flowers along the way um, that will lead us up here to our base. You see our entrance? So beautiful. And I believe the base is mob proof, with the exception of spiders and, of course, phantoms and endermen. You know, the things that you hardly can't avoid. But zombies, creepers, skeletons, all that type of stuff should not be able to get into our base. So, uh, you recognize that building, but there's a couple of buildings you may not recognize yet. And we have the garden shed here. Um, so I moved our barrel out that had our seeds and stuff. And I moved everything into the shed. So in the shed we have our tools for gardening, aka a single hoe inside of that barrel. Over here we've got all of our seeds and things that we can plant. Um, up here we've got our saplings. And in this one we have our leaves and vines or in this case, glow lichen. Um, so that's our garden shed. It's everything foliage and greenery based. Um, you hear Mr. Colonel or, or the Colonel cluck, 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 clucking in the background. Our garden's not gotten any bigger. Uh, that was not the point of this, of my, of my current quest. My current quest was to just spruce things up and give everything its own little place. Now, over here, uh, is the workshop and inside my workshop and I just think it's so simple but it's just so beautiful looking we've got our axe hanging on the wall we've got our stone cutter and we've got some storage and we've got our two different furnaces here so down here is where our uh, you know uh, metals are gonna go so iron and gold um, and then different gems like diamonds and whatnot can go in there um, I think I'm gonna make this yeah this is gonna be my wood barrel so everything wooden is gonna end up inside of this barrel here um, and then this one here is everything stone related so all my different stones move stones amethyst whatever um, are gonna be over here so so that's what the workshop is all about and then if we move over here we see uh, Colonel's crib <laughs> I didn't I don't have a, a nameplate over top of it but anyhow this is Colonel's crib it's going to need a little bit more sprucing up, but as you can see, I've got something in the works over here, and uh, that's just going to be a bit of a surprise for later because it is not done yet. That looks nice. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, anyhow, spoilers ahead. Um, there's my fence that very clearly guards this portion of the property, but what about all the stuff that's going to drop in from up there, you ask? Well, let me show you. This is what I love about building a nice natural barrier. Um, because you can't tell that there's a barrier. But when you go behind it, you see this trench that's been dug out that's two blocks tall or, or taller where nothing can jump up in here, again, with the exception of spiders, of course. Uh, so if anything spawns out there in the dark, dark forest, it's just going to fall in this trench. Uh, if anything spawns right here, well, it's not going to because, as you can see, there's lots of torches up here. But they're all hidden behind the dirt, behind the trees. So down there on the ground, you couldn't actually see these. So I am super satisfied with the way that turned out. Um, and definitely take that, well, this is the exception. I'm gonna put some lanterns or something right there because I don't like the torches being revealed. But anyhow, better to have torches revealed than creepers dropping on your face. Am I right? Oh yeah, I'm right. Um, so anyhow, that's a good build tip for those of you who might be looking out for build tips. Making this natural wall uh, is something that just, it just looks so beautiful. Uh, and this is the other little bit right here uh, of the natural wall, right? Nothing can jump through here uh, because it would just fall down inside of that trench or in behind this one and can't get through. So, yeah. There's a free one for you. And uh, and then, of course, the house itself. Oh, oh one thing that cha did change inside of the house. First off, I put a, a little you know, pressure plate there to make things more convenient. Uh, but I'm working on this wardrobe area here with our armor stands and... Uh, cabinets above and there's also cabinets on the floor where I'm keeping my tools at and uh, it's not enclosed yet because I want to enclose it with the dark oak uh, trap doors and maybe the spruce trap doors either way that's not in this area and I'm um, going to need to go on an adventure to uh, complete my closet so I don't know exactly what episode 3 will contain but I know one thing I am desperately in need of all kinds of materials stone, iron, diamonds all that good stuff, and uh, I think I'm going to be doing something like that in episode 3. 
Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in episode three. Peace out.